Bishop of the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Demetin. You got it. That's it. Which, for those of you Roman Catholics, home actually covers all of Alberta. Um, so, Bishop, what did you think of the event so far? Well, it's just uh, awesome to be with all of our young people and just the enthusiasm that they have and the love for the Lord. I love the Stations of, of the Cross and just to watch the faces of our young people as they were focused on, on the events, the scriptures coming alive, and especially as this when Jesus was nailed to the cross and you could just, just feel is this the passion and, and the people identifying with our Lord then too. It's going to be an awesome weekend. Uh, Bishop, if you wouldn't mind, I'm just, could you talk a little bit, because this is also World Youth Day at Home, could you talk a little bit about Pope Francis' relationship with the Eastern Catholic Churches? Yeah, so Pope Francis is uh, just, just awesome, just his um, uh, youthful energy despite his elderly years, but he's been able to identify very quickly with the, with the, um, those exist that are amongst the poor, or the marginalized, or the forgotten. And sometimes, as Eastern Catholics, we can feel that way. But he has a special relationship. He was, when he was in Buenos Aires, our now patriarch, Sviatoslav, knew him very well. And as a young uh, seminarian, uh, Pope Francis used to have a Ukrainian Catholic spirit priest as a spiritual director. So he knows our services well. And anyway, we love him and we look forward to everything that he has in store for us. Oh, thank you, Bishop. Thanks kindly.